Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to my channel. My previous video where I showed you eight other ways you could use your lipstick was a big hit. So today I'm back to show you 10 other ways you could use your eyeshadows. Number one, you can use your eyeshadows to fill in your brows. How I like to do it is with a small shader brush and I'll blend the brown shadow onto my brows first following its natural shape. Then I'll wet a small angled brush using setting spray which will help me create small hair like strokes. I use this technique to fill in any gaps and also to extend the end of my brows. You can also use a similar technique if you don't have eyeliner around. Just wet your brush using a makeup setting spray, then use the brush to apply a dark eyeshadow along your lash line. If you're like me and have some pink eyeshadows around that you never use, you can use them to make some cream blush. Just scrape some of the pigment onto a tray or container, then add in a few drops of moisturizer and mix it together until you have a smooth consistency. Now you can use your fingers to apply it onto the apples of your cheeks and blend it out just like cream blush. How about turning your eyeshadows into lipstick? Again, scrape out some pigment from an eyeshadow pan. Feel free to crush up the entire pan if you want to make a lot, but I'm just making a little today. Then you can mix a bit of Vaseline or if you want a petroleum free product, use coconut balm. Mix it together with the pigment until smooth and now you're ready to apply it onto your lips. As you can see, it's much more pigmented than the eyeshadow itself. Another easy way to use your eyeshadows is actually over your lipstick. Instead of making a new lip color, you can simply add eyeshadows on top of your lipsticks to create different looks. For example, I like to add a glitter or metallic eyeshadow to the center of my lips, which will make it pop. If you want to add dimension to your lips, you can also apply a darker shadow on the edges of your lips. This will create a slight gradient effect and give your lips more shape. Can you see it in the before and after photo? Number six, you can also use your eyeshadows as a bronzer or for contouring. Just make sure you grab a bit of product as some eyeshadows are highly pigmented. I'm using a small fluffy brush here to just carve out and sculpt my face. Number seven, you can also use shimmery eyeshadows as a highlighter. This is a great way to save money and get more use out of your products. I like to use a small fan brush. This one is actually a nail art brush. And I'll use it to apply highlighter onto my cheekbones and under my brow bone. This will give you a dewy, glowy look. If you have eyeshadows that you never use or hardly touch, you can use them to make different nail polish colors. All you need is a clear nail polish and an eyeshadow color. Mix the two together until smooth, then apply a coat onto your nails. Once it's dry, pop another clear coat on top to lock in the color. Number nine, you can use eyeshadows to fill in your hairline to make it look fuller. This will obviously look better if you have like one solid color. For me, I have pink hair with a bit of like dark regrowth, but I'll show you how to do it anyway. As you can see, I have some areas lacking a bit of hair, so I'm gonna use a brown eyeshadow to fill in those areas. You would use an eyeshadow that matches your hair color. So I finished filling in one side so you can see the difference. One side is much fuller than the other. Number 10. Lastly, if you want to create fake freckles, I see it everywhere on my Instagram explore. If you want to do that, you can use a brown eyeshadow. All you need is a wet eyeliner brush. Again, use your setting spray to wet it and use it to apply random spots all over.
Then once you're done, use your finger to dab over the freckles to fade them a bit to make them look more natural. So that's 10 other ways you can use your eyeshadows. Are you doing any of them already? If you can think of any other uses, comment below and let us know. Please subscribe to my channel and help me get to 2 million subscribers by the end of this year. And that's it for now. I will speak to you guys next time. Bye.